All right, Mike. <laughs> two on two. <laughs> All right, Mike. It's it's a bad. It's a team battle. <laughs> We've had a crazy number of aces so far. Mariano picking up aces again. I mean, we're only an hour into our show, and I feel like we've seen aces five times. Mike X with top pair. A little bit of something for everybody. I mean, Jungle Man with a pair, Brown Ball with a pair, Mike X with a pair, Mariano with the biggest pair. Jungle Man does Mariano a favor by kind of uh, getting out the getting out the rest of the uh, the garbage out there. I mean, if Jungle Man just calls and the other two players call, Mariano's got a lot of cards to dodge, right? All those two pair for everybody, and all the trips, right? A king, an eight, a nine, a six, a five, or a three. It has nothing to do with you. Would have put Mariano in second place. There's nothing oh, like but I'm, instead, I'm, now he goes I'm up to almost, uh, you button. know, 80% equity. On your button. I'm Any fighting button. for... I, <laughs> we're, we're fighting. We're just fighting. No, you don't, you don't actually lose less if either yeah. the other person so, wins the button. You lose the same either way. <laughs> Got something just good, we Mariano? Make more. We make more if you both lose, but you guys don't lose. I don't know. You telling us what you have? Yes, I don't know. It's a weird spot to say, I don't know. It's the I don't know call. I'm gonna not be the I don't know call. Oh, pardon me, Mike X actually in there. I thought he folded. I don't know call. But as you can see, he has actually made the call. Aces are still good. Jungle Man now with a straight draw. I'm gonna check. Jungle Man now checks. Mike X is gonna bet 8,000. Mariano doing very little betting with his aces, have you noticed? He's just letting his opponents do all the betting for him. And he's getting paid. He makes the call. 29,000 in the pot now. And you've got to be a little bit wary if you're Mike, uh, if you're Mike X thinking, you know what, I don't think top pair is the best hand anymore. Jungle Man's getting an okay price, but he's getting an okay price against these two exact hands. But if he's up against diamonds, he could be in a world of hurt. Mamma mia! And he gets there. Look at that. Jungle Man. Showing us how it's done. Mariano can't like seeing that card. Jungle Man bets his last twelve thousand two hundred dollars. Technically, he's got twenty-five behind, but fucking magic. Mariano can't beat much. Keep in mind, Jungle Man raised on the flop. So you start thinking, okay, what kind of hands is he raising with on the flop? Then calling the turn with, and now betting. What you got, Mariano? Not much. Just trying to see if there's any way I'm not going to fold my cards. I'm 
Twenty. Let's pause fifty k, bro. No, really At least a thousand. <laughs> yeah, but your best gonna be proportional. <laughs> twenty dollars on top. Twenty dollars on top. Make it twenty five. At least yeah. give a chip. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, one minute, I'll be done. Five four by the way, I'd already gotten there on the turn. The obvious draw diamond though. Good. And jungle man. If he was worried about diamonds, certainly isn't worried now. Mariana does make the call, sees the bad news, and Jungle Man wins himself a nice pot. Three, five. Just under 62,000 in the pot, headed That's over to Jungle Man. Nice hand, brother. How much is it? 12, 2. This is G. Oh, this is. Because there's so much in the pot. He <laughs> yeah, has a gut shot. <laughs> I had a gut shot in a pair, bro. Huh? <laughs> I had a gut shot in a king? pair. What are you talking huh? about? Just I had a king? Six. So raise for Mariano with King Queen. We get some action on this one. But then it was like half that like you could never win, you couldn't win more than five or something. Like if someone got to five, then. So one King Queen raises the other one three bets. And it looks like we'll have King Queen versus King Queen versus sixes. I like Jungle Man's hand. I can't let you guys brawl it out without me. Three ways. Round three, at least, maybe more, between Henry and Jungle Man. How many kings or queens left in the deck? Can Henry catch a jack, though? He does have a, he does have a gut shot as well. Can he just get Jungle Man to fold the sixes? That's the other question. $17,000 in the pot. This was three bet pre by Henry. All in. All in. All in. 23,000 into 17. You can just leave it. Leave it. Jungle Man. Yeah, 20 what? Nice. Way ahead. Henry can win this with a king, a queen, or a jack. We know there aren't that many kings or queens left in the deck. As Mariano folded the same hand. Magic's going to do a count. 23 what? 23, 175. I don't know. Henry maybe just getting out a little out of line here, but he is really going for it. Well, 6-4, I know what to do with. This one, um... What does the math say? This one, I can do a few things. Round one went to jungle. 
Round two. Next queen. Went to Henry. And these guys continue to battle. First time it was queen seven versus ten six. The next time it was bluff over bluff. This time the best hand is sixes. I could watch these two play all day. Once again, Mariano with the original raise in his hands. Jungle Man called three bet from Henry. Mariano and Jungle called. Henry bet the flop, Mariano got out of the way. Jungle Man called, and then on turn, Henry moves all in. I imagine Jungle Man's mind is like Russell Crowe's in A Beautiful Mind. Like the math no. equations are just going up there. I'm not. Maybe if you have a dream about this hand, it'll help you figure it out. <laughs> Rex Pop at a great point in the chat says, if you call, you can accidentally lose in the river a lot. Yeah, I mean, you got to imagine that Henry's not doing this with nothing. Maybe he's got ace queen of hearts. Maybe he's got ace king of hearts. In this case, he's got king queen without a heart. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is about as bad a situation as Henry's going to have, you'd imagine. And look at that. Oh, look at that. I don't think it made you feel better. I would have had a monster. I think I had 10 5 of hearts. Another great hand between Henry and Jungle Man. I think it might end slightly better, I call. Cash has flopped a open-ended straight flush draw. And he is gonna raise right away. There's a cryptic message in there. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Henry calls, wow, okay. Mike gets out of the way, right? Yeah, he's I like, assume. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Cash gets there. Henry does have a redraw to a higher club. The ace of clubs or six of clubs would not work out for him very well as Cash would have a straight flush. There might be another cryptic message in there. <laughs> if you really think about it. So Cash bets 4,500, Henry calls. What is Henry up to here? Cash continuing to bet. Cash really has not gotten out of line all day long. I mean, this is the first time I've seen him raise without actually having a hand, and he had an open-ended straight flush draw. He raised the flop, he bet the turn, he's bet the river. I mean, if Henry moved all in, it would, Cash would hate life. 
Hang right, on. paired board. And he's got a baby flush, but I mean, I, I just don't know what the plan was here for Henry. I mean, maybe it was just float and take it away on a later straight, but Cash has never given him that opportunity. I was considering it. I mean, does he put his opponent on a deuce and think he can get him to fold it? All in. All, All in from Henry! What a move! And this is what he was setting up, and suddenly 5 3 of clubs is just a bluff catcher. How much? Henry is either doing this with air or a better yeah. hand than 5 3 of clubs. What is happening? Wow. I remind you at home, we can see the cards. We try to think of the way this hand played out. Cash check raised, Henry called. Cash bet the turn, Henry called. Cash bet the river, and a big bet on the river, not even a small bet, and Henry moves all in. If you didn't know what Henry had, would you think it was a bluff? This is in no way an easy spot for Cash. I don't know how I can fold. <laughs> this is crazy. Huh. Gotta wonder what's Henry thinking when he hears that. The fact that he wasn't snap called though. Show one card? In the hand or that? You wouldn't tell me you're drawing down the hand. I'm, I'm kidding. Okay. I don't know. I'm, no, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> wow. You know it's a, it's a really, really it's difficult insane. spot. When you've got people thinking, how could he ever fold? How could he ever call? And I can see Sorry, merit guys. on both sides of it. We're going to restart this. <laughs> I mean, how is this a bluff? Yeah. And yet it is. Remember, Cash raised the flop. Henry called. What did he call with then? Cash bet the turn. Henry called. Made it 400 pre-flop. And then Cash bets the river, and Henry moves all in. Edward Ross says it. Nobody bluffs here. Like, did how is this a bluff? Did you somehow spike a jack? You have pocket jacks? That would be insane. And pocket jacks, pocket fours. The thing is that Cash is up a lot of money. And I think this is what Henry is attacking. He senses that Cash doesn't want to lose it. He senses that Cash is on lockdown. 
And as long as Cash doesn't have the absolute nuts, can Henry get him to fold? Cash was up about 25,000 earlier. He can fold this hand and still be up. But if he calls and he's wrong, he's suddenly down. Huh. What a hand. I don't know what to do though. Henry has been in the center of almost every interesting hand tonight. Uh. And this one might trump them all. What a spot. You hear Cash saying, I can't fold. How could I ever fold? But at the same time, how is he ever good here? Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I'd love to know if Mariano thinks that Henry's bluffing. <sighs> it's crazy. I don't know why I have a feeling I'm beat. Fold. He folds! Wow! <laughs> My mind has just exploded. Nice hand. What a hand. This fucking shit is fun, bro. <laughs> Now I want to know how big of a fold All right, Tony's here. Good luck. <laughs> what a hand. Wow.